I told the team I thought this kind of summed up who we've been all year. Um, you know, we played a really, really good first half. And um, when you play good teams, they're going to they're gonna have their run. And, and Penn had a great run in the third quarter. And, you know, we got away from a few things. But um, they knew how to get back to it together and um, really leaned on each other and, and knew where the ball needed to go and, and really relied on our, our defense. I thought we defended uh, pretty consistently. And just uh, I, I would tell us to the team, I was really proud of our, our bench. I thought um, we got great contributions from a lot of people, um, which we needed when you're playing these quick turnarounds. Um, that was something that was really important. So, uh, you know, for us, it, it is, uh, it feels like what we've been doing all year. You know, trust your defense, trust your teammates, um, and a lot of good things will happen. Ken, feel you kind of beating us off here often. You said that, but I mean, you know, missing a lot of easy shots, uh, letting them get back. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I thought their defense had something to do with that. I, I thought, uh, you know, they defend in a way that it makes it look like they're easy shots, but not really rhythm shots. Um, I thought then we got some rhythm shots going in the second quarter. Again, I thought our bench in the second quarter really changed the game uh, for us. Um, you know, and then we got a little away from it in the third quarter. With uh, We took some good shots, didn't make them, but then we got back to going to the paint um, in the fourth quarter and, and luckily able to get some stops with that and um, be fortunate enough to get the win. Yeah, it's just kind of how the game goes sometimes, you know. Um, and, and I think they do a good job with that, you know, mixing defenses and pressing and doing some different stuff. Um, you know, and you just, you know, very rarely you're going to make every shot, you know. <laughs> Never you're going to make every shot. So, um, you know, I thought, we, again, we took good shots, but we weren't moving the ball uh, as well uh, for a little bit in the third quarter. Um, once we got back to that, I thought we were taking the, the shots that we were really good at. Uh, winning in the postseason. Yeah, yeah. Like I think they're the better ones to ask about that. Um, you know, I, I really, it was a great, uh, it was a great atmosphere. Um, really appreciate the, the number of people that came out and supported us and um, certainly really helped push us uh, forward in that fourth quarter. Matty and Chanel, this one's for you. Typically, we're talking about how non-conference prepares you for Big East play. How does Big East play prepare you for this postseason tournament in non-conference? I think Big East play is, is very competitive and every player you go against is skilled in a different way so it sets us up because there's we're we're ready for the skilled players we're ready for the transition since Big East is huge with that um, so we just we prepared with that and and going forward we just gotta I mean we're, we're gonna play another Big East team so kind of going back to what we what we went to and in, in uh Okay, cool. Cool. Um, it's definitely good playing against uh, different teams, but it's still the same mentality. We want to be competitive and we want to win. So. Um, I know how important like the season is for our seniors, and just continuing their season and playing with them is really all I've been thinking about. So, I knew that that would be my job to knock the free throws down and allow. Yo Yo, Maddie, and Clara to keep playing with them. Okay, Chanel, you guys obviously aren't the biggest players on the court, but I just like you guys just keep attacking. When you attack the basket, there's, there's no fear. Is that at least when you look at it? Oh no, not at all. Um, I don't care about height. I definitely use how fast I am to my ability, and it works out every time. So I'm good with the height I have. <laughs> No. <laughs> Not at all. No fear in my heart at all. I love him. My job. I can't shoot, so a lot, a lot of time, time in the, the gym, gym just throwing them up. So. A lot of time in the gym. Do you, I mean, do you see the defense that actually make them put in and see them start? Yeah, yeah that's back. when I try to dime it. But either either or it works for me. As long as it, it goes in, I'm fine. Yes, definitely, because I don't really get the chance to play against big players like her and as good as her and talented. So I kind of take it as a challenge and like want to be able to get better and just play at the same pace as she can. Hey, do you feel like a freshman anymore? No, not really. <laughs> I just feel like part of the team up there. Was there a moment during the season where that kind of just stopped being you? Or was this kind of always been like a I kind of like, after a few games, I kind of just got into the rhythm of it. It's kind of just like, I belong here and this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, all of our freshmen, I thought uh, I, I thought our, our older kids really did a great job of welcoming them right away. 
Um, and I thought they adapted really quickly, um, and they needed to. Um, you know, and they, they've gone through kind of ups and downs. But, um, yeah, this time of the year, uh, you know, you're, we're just players, and, and the year is what it is. But, um, you know, I, I, I think it's – they've allowed – they allowed themselves to be helped by the older kids, and the older kids were really welcoming in that. So. Looking forward to hosting another one? Yeah, it's better than the traveling. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, quick turnaround. We certainly are, are very familiar with our opponent. Um, we know how good they are. Um, you know, and, and we know we, this is what we've done all in Big E season. You know, it's just uh, it's weekdays instead of uh, a weekend. So, um, you know, it, it's similar to that kind of situation. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting. We play in a team from Philly on this day and one day's rest and we play Georgetown again. It's it's what we've done. So, um, you know, we know we got a, a great opportunity, but we know we also have a great challenge to get ready for. Anybody likes the familiarity with your next opponent? I'm ready. ready. You, but they're familiar <laughs> with you too. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're definitely ready. Yeah, we're ready. Um, we have something coming for them, and I just hope everybody will be there to see it. Does this feel, when you turn 20, you guys were, it didn't look like you were looking for one specific person, but then it just felt, or at least it looked a little bit more like a team. You put everything on display today. I yeah. think it's more collectively. Mm -hmm. Like, we all trust each other. Like, mm -hmm. Maddie says it throughout the entire game that play for the person next year as well as coach, and I think we really adapted to that culture, and that's what we really play for. We play for one another. That's why. Our chemistry is so good. That's why we look so together because we love playing with each other. Is this the best basketball you've played the whole season? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's close. I think we. Uh, you know, I think we got. I think we got some things we could do better, but. Uh, I do think it, it, we're playing really hard and we're playing really together. Um, and I think the last two we've defended at times we've def we've defended uh, you know 75, 80 percent of the game pretty well. Um, so obviously we want to always get that number higher. But I um, uh, I do think we're doing some of those things really well. And Matt, can you explain that when you guys played Georgetown twice this year, you know, Spear mm -hmm. didn't go so great. Their play looked a lot closer. Yeah. What was the difference in the two games, and how can you change things? Yeah, I think that, uh, I mean, the difference is obviously we weren't as locked in when we played them here. Um, but we know them well. We know their players really well and what they want to do offensively and defensively. So, and that, it matters, but at the end of the day, what matters is what we're going to do, how we're going to defend them, how we're going to shoot the ball, pass the ball. So we just got to be ready for them to come in, but we got to focus on us first. Is winning taking the nerves at this point? Or are we, this is just ready to go? It's like ready to go. Yeah, we're done with that at this point. I think we just want to play. Yeah.